Hi everyone, welcome to On the Other Hand. I'm Ariane Zerscher, and today I'm going to be demonstrating one of my favorite stitches of all time, the Spanish knotted feather stitch. This stitch is daunting to people, I know, but once you get the hang of it, it is so much fun. It can be used in all different weights threads, all different kinds of threads, and it looks amazing. I really love this stitch, and it's one of those stitches that you don't see used often. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to receive an email notification, you'll need to click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button. I love hearing from you, so leave me any comments or questions you might have in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out the description section. That's where I leave links for all the different materials that I use within the video. Grab something to stitch with, grab a needle and some thread, and let's explore how to use the Spanish knotted feather stitch. I am going to do it around this leaf. I'm not going to start at a point, I'm going to start in. And if you think of it as three lines, so I'm going to have one line that travels just in on my applique edge, one line that is the applique edge, and then one line that just travels just outside of my applique edge. So you're traveling along three tracks, basically. I'm using an, a number five weight Eleganza thread threaded on a number 18 chenille needle. So there's my initial. Now I'm gonna go back on my second track, just back a little, and I'm gonna come up just above where this first stitch is coming out of. Now I'm gonna take my thread and I'm going to wrap it once clockwise and I'm going to get a little twist right there. Now I'm going to go into my middle track right here, and I'm going to come up right here. I'm going to take my thread and wrap it counterclockwise, and I'm going to pull my thread through. Then I'm going to come back. I'm going to go right in between here in my middle track. I'm going to come up, wrap my thread clockwise, anchor with my thumb, pull my thread through, and I get my little twist. Come back into the middle right here and go back out, wrapping my thread counterclockwise. Come back through right into the center on that second track. Go up to the third track, wrapping clockwise. Pull my thread through. My needle right into the center there on the second track. And coming up on the first track, wrapping counterclockwise. Go back into the center for my second track. Come up for my third. Wrapping clockwise. My needle down into the middle, which is going to go right into that second track. Come up to the first track, counterclockwise.
wanted to do this so that I would get to a point where I'm running out of thread. I'm going to end it right here. I'm going to end my thread here. I'm going to tie it in the back. So here's where I ended my thread. So now I'm going to come right back up inside the loop. Come back into the middle with my stitch up and proceed as as I would normally. I'm going to show you how to deal with a point. I'm going to go up and this is now going to be my point. I'm just using my stitching to emphasize the shape. And I'm going to come back down around this way. It's a little funky right there, that's okay. And I keep going. That is my Spanish knotted feather stitch. I think it's just gorgeous. Let's see what it looks like in the oriental linen. This is called Sprite Grass. So remember, I come up on my track one, that's what I call it. I come down on track two, and then I come up a little bit above this one on track three. And this is where I wrap my thread clockwise. I get my first little twist. Then I go into the center along track two and come up on track one, wrapping my thread counterclockwise. So clockwise and then counterclockwise. I get my second little twist. Come back into the center of that on track two come up a little ways on track three. You can vary this by making this more elongated or shorter. It all depends on how prominent you want your feather. I'm keeping mine pretty small. Clockwise. into the center, come up on track one, counterclockwise. third one I'm going to do in shepherd's silk and this is forest green the labels kind of worn off maybe forest of greens not sure another thread to try doing this with is the aurora which is gorgeous the silk and pearl is fabulous any of the soft cottons the dala could try seagrass with it I have yet to use a thread that I didn't like
I just have to show you guys what Merlin's doing, pawing at my stitches. I ignore him until he really becomes pretty aggressive, which he can, and then he starts biting the needle, which may happen any second. He doesn't like it when I ignore him. guys can hear but we have construction going on on either side of us so our apartment we have a loft and it goes it it faces uh, south on one side and there's a huge building being built right outside that window and then to the left of me our building goes all the way to the other side of the street where they're doing another large building. So we're sandwiched between two construction sites, both using jackhammers. And even though I try to reduce the background noise on these videos, I can still hear humming. I don't know if you can. But... So I have my number five variegated eleganza. I have this in oriental linen. And this is the shepherd silk. This one I ended a little, I could have brought that in. It's sort of sticking out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this stitch. If it's new to you, give it a try. It's so much fun. I do love it. It is one of my favorite stitches. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to get an email notification, you'll need to click on the little bell to the right of the subscribe button and comment and tell me what you think, ask me questions. All of these things help boost my videos in YouTube's rankings, which helps me gain more viewers. Don't forget to look at the description section. I put links for all of these threads that I've used, as well as the needles in the description. So you can click right on that link. It'll take you directly to the page where that thread is, so you can have a look at it. And until next time, here's to stitching together.